let's just talk a little bit about what you think China is trying to do on the crypto front, because we've gotten lots of different mixed messages. Uh, there's, uh, you know, uh, a crackdown on mining on, on one side, and yet you have folks like Peter Thiel who think that China actually wants, uh, you know, to effectively push and support things like Bitcoin and other cryptos as a way of punishing the U.S. dollar. What do you think? Well, it, it is complicated because I'm not sure what the Chinese want themselves. I think it's the policy is in a period of evolution. Uh, the crackdown was an odd one because they cracked down on a lot of companies. They closed their websites and then they put a number of them back up um, in a very short period of time. So I think there were a couple of reasons behind it. One, the market itself had gotten very frothy and with a lot of speculation and a lot of charges of misuse um, for moving money out of the country. And as you know, the Chinese are very concerned about large sums of money moving out of the country without some sort of government control or government notification. And a lot of people getting into this game who were not very experienced and causing uh, buyers to, uh, to buy things that they weren't uh, totally familiar with. So it pushed the prices up and made them more volatile and made it harder for the Chinese government, the People's Bank of China, to actually but, govern but movements of money. Well, that's what I was going to ask, Bob, though. I mean, crypto, unto, you know, if, if it works the way it's supposed to in many ways, it's supposed to be decentralized. So much of it is, at least. Well, Does that work you, in a country you, like China? You put your finger on it. They, they want two things. They want to have a very centralized system, but they also want to move ahead in crypto in part. And you pointed this out a moment ago. They're concerned about the dominance of the dollar, and they're concerned about the dominance of the dollar in particular as a use uh, for leverage, American leverage on China and on other countries. So they would like to find some way around the dollar, um, both internally in, in East Asia and internationally. On the other hand, they want to have a certain amount of right. control over the currency and over currency movements and how people use it. And they don't want the, a lot of speculation because then the market drops and people lose money and right. the government gets blamed. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.